Uh, our next speaker is Juan López Vilaplana. He comes from the Directorate General for Information Technologies. He's a mathematician and a, an information system manager in a wide variety of areas from accounting management to health services. At present, he is responsible for geomatics promotion at Generalitat, the regional government. Thank you, Carmen. First of all, I uh, would like to say thank you. Acknowledgements are in order. I understand that disseminating a strategic plan is very important to the organization for two reasons. First of all, because it causes the organization to fulfill the plan and secondly, because the audience of that particular dissemination will know where to stand. So thank you. Thank you to the organizers for inviting me to present the plan. And personally, I would like to say thank you to Danny Carrion. Some of you know him. I would like to thank him for his hard efforts in improving and disseminating the culture of geomatics. And thank you ever so much, Gabi. And of course, thank you to all of you for coming and, and staying in the last session instead of going to the bar and have a, a beer. Right, most of the concepts that I will present in a minute have already been mentioned by previous speakers, standardization, interoperability, open source software, collaboration, even GVNIX. GVNIX was already explained. So thank you to the previous speakers too. Right, these are the contents in my presentation. Uh, from one to six, all these points are about the strategic plan, but I included point one and point two as an overview for you to have an idea of the deep transformation of information systems in the regional government, what was the situation before 2012, and what has happened now. And from point two to five, in, in June 2013, we were commissioned to carry out a study and precisely from point three to point five, I will talk about the summary of such a study of, that, of a report, which has really been the starting point for the strategic plan in information systems in the regional government. Right, point number one, the situation before 2011, information systems. You can see all these blue boxes. Well, uh, they were sectioned uh, according to each governmental department. Each department had its own information systems sub-department, except for the educational department, in which case information systems were dependent on a particular directorate general, not a department, and the same applies to health and the health department. There were other exceptions to the employment center and the courts, the justice department, which had, which had its own organization. Right, so basically this was the structure. The regional minister, then the autonomous secretary, and the money is here with the directory general. And information systems were answerable to the subsecretariat. As you can see, the subsecretariat is responsible for administrative procedures, staffing, etc. 
What happened as from 2012? Well, uh, changes in the organization chart, as you can see, a new DG appeared uh, called Technologies of Information or Information Technologies, and the previous links of information systems with each individual subsecretariat was done away with, and therefore the Directorate General for Information Systems became responsible for all previous competencies scattered around all different departments. So here it is within the organization chart of DG Information Technologies. We find three main sub-directorate general applications and electronic administration, infrastructures, and educational innovation, which is somehow similar to the structure in the previous education department. And then we see another branch with services. Geomatics is now answerable to the subdirectory general for electronic applications and administration. We also see other sections that are answerable, corporate applications, sector applications, electronic administration, and tax administration services. Now, the goals, the aims. This is just a summary of the policies of DG Information Technologies. I took this information from the Strategic Plan 2011-2015. There are two major goals. One is to improve public administration services, and the other goal is to generate knowledge and employment based on innovation and technology in the region of Valencia. These goals are structured into seven action axes, which are obviously in line with the national plan. You will later see that many of these concepts appear every now and then in the uh, national strategic plan too. Right, uh, number one, centralized uh, management. Number two, definition of common standards and guidelines. Number three, consolidation of uh, ICT assets. The departments, the organization chart that I showed you earlier included uh, dedicated teams, individual teams, but now uh, the system, the organization chart needs to be consolidated. Number four, technologies for ICT savings. Number five, uh, promoting technological innovation in public administration. And number six, ICTs as a driver for growth and employment in the region. Now, let me delve into the geomatic side. In June, a task force was set up and it carried out a preliminary study to know where we stood. Uh, now, what I'm about to present you is the current situation. What was done before in information systems developments concerning geographical information? Well, with the study, we realized that computer experts and, and myself too, uh, well, we were very much against uh, geomatic subjects. It was something unfamiliar to us, uh, alien to us. We thought we were not in charge of all these subjects. We also noticed that developments were uh, dependent on functional uh, coordinators depended on them. So when did computer people get to know an information system had to be implemented, including geographic information, only when the application was all set, was all ready, and we were given it? And next, we realized that the different roles and activities to be completed by the officers, by the civil servants, were all overlapped. We did not know who had to do what, who had to do the maps, the cartography, the technological standards, etc. And what products were we to operate? Consequences. Those who had the power to develop, those who were commissioned the development, had total 
decision-making power, where to apply them, the settings, etc. And since the money was in the hands of those writing the contracts, all resources ended up in the improvement of those particular functionalities. And of course, I wanted to have more functionalities and better ones. So I was not particularly concerned with the sustainability of the final system. So all these concepts were neglected, interoperability, reusing, open source software, etc. And finally, the final outcome was that we had a lot of heterogeneous systems, different settings, propri proprietary products, non-proprietary products, etc. What uses did we identify? Well, we found uses for all settings, for roads, flood, surveys. Uh, well, we saw a number of examples before. Uh, 112, 112, the emergency phone for coast management, school transport, etc. What future uses did we foresee? Well, uh, these current uses will certainly grow, they will need further support and similarly and there will be more developments, some developments have been presented today uh, in the morning but more and more we see a growing trend for georeferencing sensors. We also identified a number of threats and opportunities. Some of them were mentioned earlier. Uh, interoperability challenges, the need for standards, for uh, product usage policies, for uh, identifying the settings, the target settings. We met together, we met the entrepreneurs too, uh, and we also talked to the National Geographic Institute with Antonio. We approached the Cartographic Institute, our colleagues in other departments, uh, particularly those who, who had to withstand pressures from above those who, who asked for more functionalities, and we also talked to Valencian companies. We realized that there were few capabilities there. Very few companies in the Valencian company could actually do things for real. So putting together a strategic plan was a good idea, and it is certainly an incentive for those very few companies to, to join in and start working and training their people because there is indeed a, a business niche they could take. We also realized we were still on time. It was late, yeah, but not that late. We did things wrong in the past, but we were still on time to, to do things more effectively. And we finally realized that the EG information technologies had to face a number of challenges such as finding a single spatial data infrastructure, because there are more than seven now. Uh, they had to define roles properly and also DG, the DG had to define standards, publish them and do their standardization work. Let me now talk about the strategic plan. Right, based on all these things that I just mentioned, and, and we decided we, which was the direction to go. Uh, some technology actions are definitely needed. And in fact, the DG has already given their preliminary approval about this. Um, a uh, framework for Java development uh, needs to be further developed. We want to have it on an open source setting, and hopefully we will be able to copy GV6. 
And um, we also want to work at the level of an SW server with all these servers, with web services, and as clients, GVSIG, etc. We also propose activities in relation to, to these six large areas. Basically, we suggest the team or the department that ought to be responsible for the actions, and the actions are these ones. Support and management of IDE, creation of your own cartography, access to internal and external cartographies, development, maintenance and evolution of uh, applications with geographical representation. And uh, in the study, we also realized that users we're reporting different problems concerning microcomputer problems or other issues, so user support. This team needs to be undertaken by three departments. The Microinformatica is one of these departments. Then the Valencian Institute of Cartography, they are also to participate with uh, training, dissemination activities, etc. And finally, the GEO team. And um, support to technicians. All needs uh, should be met with our technicians. In red, I don't know if you can see it, but support to technicians. This point I have expanded it a bit uh, because so far I've given you a short summary. This is a more detailed piece of information. In red, you can see the actions that are, are still pending. Uh, hopefully, in December, this uh, training curriculum will be published. But the rest has been done already. The plan has been approved. It was submitted to the director, the subdirectors. The heads of services have already been trained with the main about the main technological geo components. The plan has been disseminated and circulated to all our colleagues. Standards have been decided and technical support is being given. We need to improve a little bit in this respect. Two minutes, Juan. Resources. We have a systems technician, an expert technician who works as a consultant to all parties. I am responsible for the coordination of activities. We also have the team from the Cartographic Institute within this collaboration framework. We have project managers, and more recently, two people were hired for two years to do the migration and other developments. As regards the timing and the schedule, we divided the activities in the short, medium, and long term. And we have three areas of activities, which are support to users and technicians. We understand support to be key because these applications are underway and are operational, so people need to be supported. Then consolidation of an IDE. Obviously, this needs to evolve from the current one, which was originally launched by the Cartographic Institute. And finally, developments are 
as per current standards and in line with standards in training for technicians. And these are my conclusions. The conclusions of all the work completed, which started in June and came to an end with the approval of the strategic plan. The geo component in an information system is just one more requirement, and therefore computer people should not neglect it. It should be considered as a way of accessing any web services, for instance. Standards were approved and incorporated thanks to the expansion of geographic information systems, and we want to make the most of them. We realized that doing nothing generated costs as a result of heterogeneity and chaos in systems, so doing nothing is something to be avoided. Decisions must be made. We would like to use professional communities to improve our products. Collaboration is essential because there is not a single system that can overcome all problems for all users. The scarcity of resources obliges us to become more coordinated. And besides, we can reuse a lot of things. And diversity is a positive thing. And finally, and we're really insisting on this with our colleagues, when they think of a new training program, a new information system program, please consider to include a geo-referenced component. Thank you.